More than a billion people around the world have been waiting for the Johnson & Johnson vaccine, a cheap, easy to transport, one-dose injection to reduce the risk of COVID-19. Now the global rollout has been thrown into doubt. The US Food and Drug Administration, which this week recommended use of the vaccine be paused while scientists study a possible link to extremely rare blood clots, has no authority outside the United States. But many countries follow its lead. The fallout has already started in South Africa, where authorities also paused use of the vaccine, which was the only one available there. In February, the country scuttled plans to use AstraZeneca's vaccine, which tested poorly against the coronavirus variant that is dominant there and has also been linked to blood clots. Experts said that while the pause on Johnson & Johnson might make sense for the United States, where two other vaccines are widely available, stoppages in poorer countries with fewer options would wind up costing many more lives than they save. One of the dangers of this is how this is portrayed, that they somehow aren't good enough for America, but are good enough for the rest of the world, said Dr. Jeremy Farrar, director of the Wellcome Trust, a British medical research charity. There's a risk of sending that signal. Even if the FDA ultimately clears the Johnson & Johnson vaccine, the pause could still harm the global effort by undermining trust in COVID-19 vaccines more generally. In South Africa, surveys have found that about 40% of people don't plan to get any shot. The vaccines from Johnson & Johnson and AstraZeneca, both of which use adenoviruses to help train the immune system, can be manufactured much faster and more economically than their competitors, which rely on newer mRNA technology. Because they require only refrigeration, not deep freezing, they're also easier to transport and store. The only way to vaccinate the rest of the world in the next 12 months is through these adenovirus vaccines, Farrar said. Without them, the unchecked spread of disease in developing countries will increase the likelihood that new vaccine-resistant variants will emerge, he said. Both the Johnson & Johnson and AstraZeneca vaccines play a major role in COVAX, a global collaboration to procure and distribute vaccines fairly across nations, particularly poorer ones. Each company has pledged to sell hundreds of millions of doses through the initiative. The questions surrounding the AstraZeneca vaccine were already a setback to Africa, which has barely started to vaccinate its population. The Democratic Republic of the Congo received more than 1.5 million doses but has yet to use a single one due to safety concerns. The U.